Unit 8. Review. I'm looking for a job. Christine Pappas' friend Katie Mulligan wants a part-time job after school. She runs into Christine one day in the park. Listen to the conversation. Hi, Chris. Oh, hi, Katie. How are you? Not bad. I'm looking for a job. Mm. Do you know Mr. and Mrs. Arno? Uh, no, I don't. Why? What do they do? They own a coffee shop, and I think they're looking for a waitress. The Arnos. Is that Arno's coffee shop? Yeah. That's right. Jeff works there. Listen, call Mrs. Arno. She does the hiring. Okay, I'll call her tomorrow. And thanks, Chris. Now listen to the conversation again and repeat each line. Hi, Chris. Oh, hi, Katie. How are you? Not bad. I'm looking for a job. Do you know Mr. and Mrs. Arno? No, I don't. Why? What do they do? They own a coffee shop. And I think they're looking for a waitress. The Arno's. Is that Arno's coffee shop? Yeah. That's right. Jeff works there. Listen, call Mrs. Arno. She does the hiring. Okay, I'll call her tomorrow. And thanks, Chris. Hello guys, today is August 13th, 2017. How are you today? Today we have the review, in fact a total review of all the lessons in level 1 that we have already learned. So this means we finished level 1 the first level and these are the review lessons to make us sure that we understood everything perfectly right this is also a reinforcement of what we have already learned okay so let's begin our journey in reviewing our previous lessons unit 8 review I'm looking for a job. Christine Pappas' friend Katie Mulligan wants a part-time job after school. She runs into Christine one day in the park. Listen to the conversation. Hi, Chris. Oh, hi, Katie. How are you? Not bad. I'm looking for a job. Mm. Do you know Mr. and Mrs. Arno? Uh, no, I don't. Why? What do they do? They own a coffee shop, and I think they're looking for a waitress. The Arno's. Is that Arno's coffee shop? Yeah. That's right. Jeff works there. Listen, call Mrs. Arno. She does the hiring. Okay, I'll call her tomorrow. And thanks, Chris. Now listen to the conversation again, and repeat each line. Hi, Chris. Oh, hi, Katie. How are you? Not bad. I'm looking for a job. Do you know Mr. and Mrs. Arno? No, I don't. Why? What do they do? They own a coffee shop. And I think they're looking for a waitress. The Arno's. Is that Arno's coffee shop? Yeah. That's right. Jeff works there. 
Listen, call Mrs. Arno. She does the hiring. Okay, I'll call her tomorrow. And thanks, Chris. Okay, now the comprehension check. Number one says, Katie wants a job. The answer is right, but how do we know it is right? What is the proof in the conversation? The point is that uh, in the third line, Katie says, I'm looking for a job. So this is the confirmation of this point. So, number two, Katie knows the Arno. What do you think? The answer is wrong because in line three, Chris says, Do you know Mr. and Mrs. Arno? Katie says, Oh, no, I don't. So she doesn't know them. The answer to number two is wrong. Number three, Katie's brother is a waiter. What do you think? The answer is, I don't know, because there is no information yeah, here. Number four, Katie is going to call Loretta Arno. What do you think? The answer is, right, because in the last line, Katie says, OK, I'll call her tomorrow. Number five, Katie doesn't know Jeff Hunt. What is your answer? What do you think? Mm -hmm. The answer is wrong. Katie says, The Arno's. Is that Arno's coffee shop? Chris says, yeah. And then Katie says, that's right. Jeff works there. So she knows him. Number five is wrong. Page 59. Three. Katie calls directory assistance for Loretta Arno's number. Read the conversation below. Then listen to the telephone conversation and fill in the missing words. Directory assistance, may I help you? I'd like the number of Arno's Coffee Shop on Willow Street. The number is 624-4320. 624-4320. Thank you. Now fill in the missing words. Okay. How do we fill in the missing words? As you can see, the operator says, Directory assistance, may I help you? Katie says, I'd like the number of Arno's Coffee Shop on Willow Street. The operator says the number is 624-4320. Katie says 624-4320. Page 60. Could you come in on Saturday? Loretta wants to meet Katie to talk about the job and calls her back. Listen to the conversation. <laughs> Hello, is Katie there, please? This is Loretta Arno from Arno's Coffee Shop. Yes, she is. Just a minute, please. Katie, telephone. Hello? Hello, Katie. This is Loretta Arno. Oh, hello, Mrs. Arno. Could you come in on Saturday to talk about the job? Gee, I'm going out of town this weekend. Well, how about Monday at 4 o'clock? Sure, that's fine. Okay, then, see you Monday. Thank you, Mrs. Arno. <laughs> Now listen to the conversation again and repeat each line. Hello? Hello, is Katie there, please? This is Loretta Arno from Arno's Coffee Shop. Yes, she is. Just a minute, please. Katie, telephone. 
Hello? Hello, Katie. This is Loretta Arno. Oh, hello, Mrs. Arno. Could you come in on Saturday to talk about the job? Gee, I'm going out of town this weekend. Well, how about Monday at four o'clock? Sure, that's fine. Okay, then. See you Monday. Thank you, Mrs. Arno. Okay, and now let us check comprehension. Number one says, George calls Katie back. The answer is wrong. But how do we know it is wrong? Any idea? Yeah, because in fact, Loretta calls Katie back, not George. Number two, Katie is going to see Loretta on Monday. What do you think? The answer is right, right? It's because in the middle part, Loretta says, how about Monday at 4? Katie said, that's fine. Loretta says, okay, then see you Monday. Number three, Monday is January 10th. What do you think? The answer is, I don't know, because there is no information provided there. Number four, Katie is going out of town uh, for the weekend. What do you think? The answer is right, because in the middle part of the conversation, uh, Loretta says, could you come in on Saturday to talk about the job? Katie says, gee, I'm going out of town this weekend. So the answer is right. Okay. All right. In exercise three, uh, we have a letter of recommendation from Pacific High School. The exercise says, Katie asks one of her teachers to write her a letter of recommendation. Read the letter, then say right, wrong, or I don't know. So, the teacher wrote, Dear Mrs. Arno, I'm happy to write this letter for Catherine Mulligan, she is a student in my English class at Pacific High School. Katie is a very good student. She works hard and her work is always good. She also works well with people. And I'm sure she'll be a very good waitress. Sincerely, Joseph K. Stein. So we know in many places in America, Europe, you know, uh, if you want to get a new job, it would be a good idea to get a letter of recommendation to submit to the new employer. So this is one of them. Let's see what we have here. Number one, Katie goes to John Jay High School. The answer is wrong, but why is it wrong? Any idea? Yeah, of course, because the name of the high school is Pacific High School. Right. Number two. Joseph Stein teaches English. What do you think? The answer is right, because in the letter, yeah, uh, he says she's a student in my English class. So she is an English teacher. Number three. Katie's sister is a waitress, too. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. There's no information. Number four. Katie is a good student. What do you think? The answer is right, because in the letter we have it. Uh, in the second paragraph, uh, he writes, Katie is a very good student. Number five. Joseph Stein uh, lives on Willow Street. What do you think? The answer is, I don't know, 
because there is no information here about this. Where's Arno's coffee shop? It's Monday, and Katie is going to Arno's for an interview. She's just leaving her house, and she's asking for directions. Listen to the conversation. Excuse me, where's Arno's coffee shop? I'm not sure. Sorry. Oh, thanks anyway. Excuse me, sir, where's Arno's coffee shop? Well, let's see. It's that way. Walk to the corner and turn left. Go straight ahead for four blocks and turn right. That's Willow Street. The coffee shop is on the right. Okay. Turn left at the corner, go straight for four blocks, and... Did you say turn right or turn left? Turn right. Uh, are you from out of town? Uh, no, I live here. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Excuse me, where's Arno's coffee shop? Now listen to the conversation again and repeat each line. Excuse me, where's Arno's coffee shop? I'm not sure. Sorry. Thanks anyway. Excuse me, sir, where's Arno's coffee shop? Well, let's see. It's that way. Walk to the corner and turn left. Go straight ahead for four blocks and turn right. That's Willow Street. The coffee shop is on the right. Okay, turn left at the corner. Go straight for four blocks. And... Did you say turn right or turn left? Turn right. Are you from out of town? No, I live here. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Excuse me, where's Arno's coffee shop? All right, folks, now one more time, we have a comprehension check. Say right, wrong, or I don't know. Number one, the woman doesn't know the way to Arno's coffee shop. It says that's right, but how do we know it's right? In the first part, when we look at it, uh, Katie says, excuse me, Where's Arno's coffee shop? The woman says, I'm not sure. Sorry. Number two. The man tells Katie to walk to the corner and turn left. What do you think? Yeah, it's uh, right. Because the man says, it's that way. Walk to the corner and turn left. Well. Number three, Arno's is 15 blocks from Katie's house. What do you think? The answer is wrong. Why wrong? Because it's uh, four blocks, right? Katie says, okay, turn left at the corner, go straight ahead for four blocks. And did you say turn right or turn left? Turn right. So it is uh, four blocks. Uh, number four, Katie is going to Arno's for coffee. What do you think? It is wrong because she's going there for an interview. Number five, the man and George Arno are friends. What do you think? I don't know. There's no information about that. Number six, Katie isn't from out of town. What do you think? Yeah, that's right. Because the man says, are you from out of town?
Katie says, no, I live here, right? All right, that's it. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Arno. Katie arrives at Arno's and talks to Loretta. Jeff greets her at the door. Listen to the conversation. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Katie. How are you? Fine. Is Mrs. Arno here? I'll go see. Hello, Katie. I'm Loretta Arno. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Arno. Nice to meet you, too, Katie. So, Katie, you're Jeff's friend? Yes. I go to Pacific High School, too. Oh, where do you live? On Clinton Street. Let's see. Do you have a job now, Katie? No, I don't. Well, I have to fill out this form. Could I ask you some questions? Sure. Now listen to the conversation again and repeat each line. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Katie. How are you? Fine. Is Mrs. Arno here? I'll go see. Hello, Katie. I'm Loretta Arno. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Arno. Nice to meet you, too, Katie. So, Katie, you're Jeff's friend? Yes. I go to Pacific High School, too. Oh, where do you live? On Clinton Street. Let's see. Do you have a job now, Katie? No, I don't. Well, I have to fill out this form. Could I ask you some questions? Sure. All right. Time to check our comprehension again. Say right, wrong, or I don't know. Number one. Clinton Street is near Fulton Street. I don't know because there's no information. Number two. Katie goes to Pacific High School. What do you think? Yes, the answer is right because uh, in a conversation uh, Loretta says, so Katie, you're Jeff's friend? Katie says, yes, I go to Pacific High School too. Number three, Jeff goes to Pacific High School too. The answer is right because we already said that Katie says, I go to Pacific High School too. Two is about Jeff also. Uh, the next one, number four, Katie lives on Henry Street. What do you think? Yeah, the answer is wrong because Katie says on Clinton Street. Number five. Katie has a job now. What do you think? The answer is wrong because Loretta says, Do you have a job now, Katie? Katie says, No, I don't. All right, that's it. Unit 8, Exercise 1. Listen to the conversation. Pam and Marty were roommates in college. After many years, they meet at a party. Fill in the chart with the information you hear about them. Part 1. <laughs> Why, Pam McCormick! Marty Jefferson! It's so good to see you. What are you doing here? We live here in Chicago now. We? Are you married? Yes, I'm Pam Andrews now. How about you? Are you married? No, I'm single. My job takes most of my time. What do you do? I'm a lawyer. And you? Are you working? Believe it or not, I'm an English teacher. Part 2 Who's that handsome man? He's coming this way. Excuse me, Pam. Are you about ready to go? Oh, Paul. Marty, this is my husband, Paul Andrews. 
Paul, Marty Jefferson. Marty and I were roommates in college. Hello, Marty. Hello, Paul. It's nice to meet you. Part three. Do you live around here, Marty? Yes, over on 13th Street, near the park. Why, we live near the park, too, on Park Avenue. Marty, let's get together soon. What's your phone number? 546-1150. Paul, could I use your pen? Thanks. 546-1150, right? Right. And here's our number, 543-4921. But we're in the phone book, Pam and Paul Andrews on Park Avenue. <laughs> Why, Pam McCormick. Marty Jefferson. It's so good to see you. What are you doing here? We live here in Chicago now. We? Are you married? Yes, I'm Pam Andrews now. How about you? Are you married? No, I'm single. My job takes most of my time. What do you do? I'm a lawyer. And you? Are you working? Believe it or not, I'm an English teacher. Who's that handsome man? He's coming this way. Excuse me, Pam. Are you about ready to go? Oh, Paul. Marty, this is my husband, Paul Andrews. Paul, Marty Jefferson. Marty and I were roommates in college. Hello, Marty. Hello, Paul. It's nice to meet you. Do you live around here, Marty? Yes, over on 13th Street, near the park. Why, we live near the park, too, on Park Avenue. Marty, let's get together soon. What's your phone number? 546-1150. Paul, could I use your pen? Thanks. 546-1150, right? Right. And here's our number, 543-4921. But we're in the phone book, Pam and Paul Andrews on Park Avenue. Exercise 2. Write the questions you hear. 1. Where do Pam and Paul Andrews live? Where do Pam and Paul Andrews live? Where do Pam and Paul Andrews live? 2. Is Marty married or single? Is Marty married or single? Is Marty married or single? Three, is Pam a lawyer or an English teacher? Is Pam a lawyer or an English teacher? Is Pam a lawyer or an English teacher? 
four. Does Marty live near the park? Does Marty live near the park? Does Marty live near the park? Five. What does she do? What does she do? What does she do? Six. What's her phone number? What's her phone number? What's her phone number? All right, folks. We have now successfully finished the review part of level one. So, level one is totally finished. Now we get ready to go uh, to the new lessons for level two. All right. Until then, and until our next meeting, I wish you a wonderful time. Goodbye.